Hello everyone, welcome to Congratulations, You're a Dick, Episode 2. This is a series where I compile articles of as horribly and I present them to you for your betterment or enjoyment. Coming up, we have the Oni that sparked a revolution. The KB2 who was late and the mysterious motivations of the OI. All that's coming up, so stick about, hit the like and subscribe buttons and enjoy. Alrighty then, so Mountain Pass. We're starting off with a fairly safe for work when you play, just to get you acclimatized to my ass. To, 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 whatever. And you know, I'm even gonna teach you something about this map, because multitasking! Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this map at the start in particular has a factor of unbalance, and it's because of the position at H24, that uh, balcony. See, this area in the middle, you can basically call it the, the no man's land. It's where overly ambitious light tanks go to die. Right? But the reason it's unbalanced is because if you spawn at the northwest cap circle and you dive down into the middle on your crusade to spot, unless you get right in the corner here, the enemy team will take H24 and massacre your booty. And even if you're hiding, you're basically. Now, completely locked down by enemies on the high ground, you can't move or you die, you gotta hope that your team wins H24, and relying on your team... Yeah. However, if you spawn at southeast and you do the exact same thing, dive down to spot, your team gets free access to H24 because they reach it first. And this is a position that can easily support you if you're rushed when you're scouting from the southeast. And it has no equivalent position for the northwest team. The safety of the middle is entirely dependent on whether your team wins H24 and the southeast team gets there first and that is why I favor Count Mouse's decision to not dive down into the pit and instead go round he's gonna see if he can get some uh, early shots into the H24 aggressors but he sees it as an LTTB one and he needs to use the position so he vacates it and he's gonna locate okay, and see if he can get uh, maybe put up some pressure on the uh, T37 that's scouting the middle from a safe location of course, none of this matters because um, only one shots him and declares in chat. Next time you will spot. Now, given what I've just told you about this map, we can assume that beyond behaving like a dick, it's actually another one of those pious supremacist jackasses who think the light tanks are only good for spotting and nothing else. Let me tell you, only there's a reason the chaffy used to get into tier ten games, right? Not an awfully good reason, but a reason nonetheless. It's because when you're having your fat Japanese dirt gun having ass handed to you, you've got a light tank there that can distract and support. Now, there's still time for me to add, I am well aware that people's playstyles and opinions differ from time to time. That's fine. But the moment you start trying to enforce your playstyle on other people, I'm going to come down on you like a rabid bloody dog. And you know what? You can piss right off with that crap. I've seen your storm, yeah, I've heard your shit. Yeah, maybe I'm playing badly, but that's my mistake to make. I'm not gonna stand idly by gaping while crap like this goes on in the game. But uh, uh, we as tank players, as individuals and as a community, we can stand on our own two bloody feet. I, we might stumble, we're not perfect, win or lose, we're gonna play a damn sight better than him because we'll play as a team. And no callous, bumbling, fat ass German heavy is ever gonna tell us a damn thing about how we can play our tanks! Oh, that was funny, I'm using that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a game with. me. Yep, I experience my fair share of dick Anyway, I am uh, minding my own business, just trying to get a good game so I can get a shout out from Agent Jedi, who doesn't make cool content by the way, I'll leave his link in the description. When I see something horrific on the enemy team, shut up! Dun dun dun! Sounds like maybe copyrighted, blah blah blah. E25s! 
two of the buggers. Now, if I was an E25, where would I be? Aha! Da Bush! Yeah, yes. Post haste. Post some vodka in the engine. Sacrifice the dissidents. Those pesky zealots shall not have the bush on my watch. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and shoot them in the face as they, as they go across the, the thing. Or, you know, I'll be violently murdered by my own KV2. Uh, who is understandably aggravated because he's late for the barbecue that they always have at now. B2, Agnia? I think they're doing burgers over the fire. Fly. I wonder if they got hot dogs! No, I wasn't invited to the barbecue. I am telling about social events anyway, but I, I'm keeping this. I'm trying to uncover the motivations of this KV2 because clearly he's a danger to himself and evidently others. So, let's see what he has to say for himself. Huh? What is the pressing, all-important reason that I was splattered over the battlefield with no mercy? Did they kidnap his wife? Threaten his tech tree? What plight drove you to this KV-2? That somehow made it so much worse. Just I don't know if I'd feel better if it was just I mean just same old you know hacker new premium. I play the KV2 to compensate for something. You know, I'd, amazingly, I think it is actually worse. There's no reason behind it at all, other than the fact that this guy was evidently bored. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just like this in-game chat play out uh, for you, because I gotta tell you, it was, it was somewhat so new in a way. Um, I was actually laughing quite a bit by the end of it, so have a look at this, and we'll, uh, we shall move on. Ah, Westfield. Calm, stagnant, and a source of endless plight for Thymo in his KV-2, apparently. In any case, on that preferences aside, we're here with... Me. Again. Yep. Having worked out the courage to venture out into 9.18, I took it on myself to gear up my old Type 64 and take advantage of the new matchmaking. Now, as we have an overabundance of seemingly depressed heavies, I, I thought my time would be best spent uh, enforcing the outcome of the Northwest flank, thus securing some high ground, hopefully doing my part towards winning the game. So, here I am in the mini town doing my light tank thing, waiting for an opportunity, when suddenly, our OI is set upon by a fearsome French light tank. But not to worry, I'm here to give it my all and support in any way I can. And BAM! KV-5 takes the killing blow, and the OI still draws breath. Aye. So, next engagement to make is on this Jackson there. Uh... Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> 
Now, let me give you guys the, the backstory here. I, I have just sold, at this point, all of my arty, because I have no interest in playing it as a legitimate mechanic. And I am understandably frustrated. I don't like change, right? And all I wanted to do was take solace in the Chinese gun depression having arms of an old light tank friend. I, however, never want to let the inequities and inadequacy of my life overtake my predisposition for a fair judgement. I'm once again left to inquire as to the motivations of this particular cockwaffle. Uh, sorry, player. Um, so, let's see what he has to say. It does take a while, but eventually he reveals... Well, not much at all, really. Um, now, the OI is under the impression that we should have some fourth wall breaking knowledge of his motivations. But I, personally, I got no idea. But I thought to myself, I thought, maybe, just maybe, I can work it out. A why? 15 centimeter gun. Firing high explosive. Went to the mini town on Westfield, a place where you don't need gun depression. Why would he not be using it? It was also oddly silent in chat both before and after the event. Combine that with his front warmer, gameplay context from earlier, my proximity to his ass, and we. Oh my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for episode number two of Congratulations, Your Dick. Remember. Send in your replays of asshole on you to replays.wolf at yahoo.co.uk. That will be in the description. Do stick around for more content like this on the channel. Check out Stream Shenanigans as well. That's a long running series that is uh, so, so much fun. Um, and until next time, farewell.